Okay, we're going to make a percussion instrument, which means it doesn't make a melody. So our pianos, do, 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 anything that has, that makes those individual notes that go up and down make a melody. Percussion instruments, like a drum or a maraca, don't make a melody. They do make rhythm. So we are going to make a rhythm instrument that is like a maraca. Okay. So first of all, we need something that will hold something, which is pretty general. Well, I'm going to use a bottle to make my maraca because I can put things inside. This is an old empty bottle and it's been cleaned out. I can close it so I know nothing's going to fall out and it will fit easily in my hand to shake. So I know that this is going to make a good container for my instrument. But you can use anything as long as it fits with that idea. And then you can fill it with anything you want as well that will make a nice sound. So maybe you can try out some different things. If I put pom-poms in here, they're probably gonna be a little bit too soft to make a sound. But if I put beads, if I hear my beads shake together, now they're a little bit harder, so they're gonna make a nice sound. So I'm gonna toss some beads in here. Oh, see, that's already making a nice sound. Oh, there we go. And if I wanted to decorate it, I could toss some glitter in there, but that would be completely optional. Oh, there's my Morocco already. I wonder if it'll sound different if I add more beats. Try adding different things to your instruments and seeing how they sound. It sounds cool when I tilt it up and down or shake it in a circle. Now, I think it's kind of cool that I can see inside. So I'm going to decorate it, but I'm going to leave these parts that are clear where I can see inside. And you can decorate yours however you like. To decorate mine, because I already have this part over top, and I think it would be a little bit hard to take it off, I'm just going to glue some paper on top of it. So I'm going to take a piece of paper, think, hmm, I need about that much. I'm just going to make a fold there to guess how much I need. So I folded it over. That looks about right. And then I can cut a strip out of my paper. So you don't have to decorate yours like that. You don't even have to use paper. Another thing I could do is I could just cut straight down my paper and cut, take a guess about how much I'll need. So instead of folding it, hmm, I can draw a little line right there. Instead of folding it, I could draw a line. Maybe with a pen, make a mark and then cut on that line. Or just guess. And it's okay if you have too much, you just cut it down. You want to try and, if you're guessing though, you want to try and put more rather than less. I'm going to wrap it all the way around and I could glue it or tape it. I'm going to hold it. And if you have two people, that would be a lot easier if it comes to gluing and taping. So somebody to hold, somebody to put the glue or tape on. There we go. There's my little piece of tape. If I was gluing, I would have put glue all around here and then wrapped my paper around it. But because I was using tape, I just need that one spot. It can come off and on. If I wanted it to stay though, I could put some glue or I could put some tape connecting the paper to the bottle. And then I can put any decorations I want. I could draw or I could put stickers. And it's up to you how you decorate your maraca. Right, have fun.